What's up guys, welcome to this week's video. So today I just thought I'd do like my everyday sort of makeup routine and you guys, ugh. I also thought I'd rant a little bit. Um, I started off this video with me getting me a cup of water cause I have been so dehydrated lately. Like if you guys usually keep up with both me and my sisters, channels you would know that i literally have a coffee addiction lately <laughs> i've been really addicted to coffee lately like i don't know like there was i'm getting better now like now i have one cup a day there was a time when every single day i'd have like three cups of coffee like not even because i'm addicted like i don't need it to like wake up but literally just for the aesthetic guys i love coffee lately i like want to become addicted to coffee so bad that's my thing. I love coffee as well, but I don't want to be addicted to it. I, I do. I don't want to rely on it for energy. I do. <laughs> um. Trying to drink water. Oh my god. You guys, I'm literally drinking a cup of coffee while editing this video. <laughs> my sister is like just really cute and just like uses like little hair clips when she does her hair. She has like the cute duckbill clips as well somewhere. Um, or she has like some like, multiple of these. Um, I'm gonna use this. I was gonna be cute and use these, but you go, should I? Let me try and be cute for you guys, okay? So, this I've never clipped my hair like to do my makeup. I feel like it's such a cute girl thing to do. I never see people put their hair behind their ears, but I like have to. Me and my sister's makeup routines always start with some CeraVe moisturizer uh, just to soften the skin, you know, it's moisturizer. You can't do your makeup without skin prep. Also, my skin has been really bad lately. It's just, it's not one of our primes. Moving into winter, my skin is just like not having it. Hey guys, um, I love using bio oil, surprisingly, on my skin if I'm doing dewy like summer dewy makeup um i use it to substitute the ridiculously expensive dew drops anyone who buys dew drops i'm sorry you're actually insane i'm completely jealous of you completely jealous of you but like i just no no um, i love using bio oil if i'm doing dewy makeup today i don't want like dew makeup but my skin has been like super dry lately like really dry yeah that just ran out of storage and then i had to like delete a million things anyways so yeah i just went in with some bio oil i don't know how i feel about bio oil for skincare though because like everyone's oh everyone says how it like got rid of all of their like marks and stuff and like made their skin super glassy and just super nice and clean and blah blah and it gets rid of like stretch marks and everything i have not noticed anything my go-to for so long now i've been through like three of these well me and my sister because like we share makeup anyways it's covergirl's skin milk and um 530 fair light is what i use in winter or i use 560 um like if i'm like tan and stuff and so you guys she's empty now so I guess we're gonna have to settle for Fenty Beauty. I don't like using Fenty Beauty. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> we love our Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. She's in the shade. Soft matte long wear. For, for, where is the shade? How? What? I'm just gonna go in with some Fenty. I like the Fenty Beauty foundation if I use it in moderation. Cause if I use too much, it's like such full coverage like than what i'm used to i love buying makeup like you guys know the thrill of buying makeup but i feel like i just love what i already use so now every time i buy products like i just can't commit to using them i love like going all out and being like super glam as well and like it annoys me because like at school i'm kind of like shy to like wear a lot of makeup because at my school no one wears makeup like People wear like mascara and like 
natural makeup, but most people don't wear makeup. I do what Anna Paul does, which is like, you put your makeup here, here, and put a little on the top so you have like natural contour. Because I don't know how to contour my nose. So that's the only way I do it. Okay, okay. Now we're going to go in with some concealer. Um, me and my sister have gone through two bottles of her. Um, and this is Too Faced Born This Way. What shade is this? Okay, she's in the shade Pearl. A lot of people love this concealer and I don't blame them. It is really nice. I think a close dupe would be like Elf, Elf Camo Concealer, but it is so dry. So dry. Even the hydrating one. You know how they came out with the hydrating one? Hydrating one is also so dry. Like it just dries really fast. And so like... Oh. For you guys like i've been i really want to get really productive because me and my sister have been so productive this year especially compared to last year but like i'm still not exactly where i want to be you know you can always be better like yeah i'm like pretty productive and stuff but i don't do gym consistently i don't have a like consistent diet like things like that like i can definitely be better still right now i want to focus on my diet because like what you put in obviously will come out i'm like tired of just like eating unhealthy especially in my house everyone eats so healthy in my house so since i don't like everyone just like makes fun of me like i don't know i'm always competing with my sister like naturally and she's just like like she eats really healthy <laughs> i don't and then so i'm i can never beat her on this one thing and it's annoying you guys, I'm gonna bronze. Me and my sister love to use um, this one bronzer, but she ran out. She's hit pan, she's gone. We have to say goodbye, it's, it's, ah! It's a funeral. So now I've been using this. This is like the palette we use our blush on. We've gone through like four of these. Um, and the lid breaks every single time. This is a new one. <laughs> but yeah, so we've hit pan on this. Um, but I'm using the brown here. I think this is like a contour, but I use it as bronzer. Like, what's the difference? I do want to get in my element of just being like healthy and stuff because I feel like it's 2024. No more excuses. I need to get my habits in line. Like, I remember my mom used to always scare me, and she's like, if you can't clean your room, how are you going to become a millionaire? And like, as dumb as that sounds, if you don't know how to do laundry, how are you going to live by yourself? How are you just going to like create some sort of form of routine and discipline? Last year at the start of the year is when I actually started like not being able to sleep unless my room's clean. Like having to clean it like a lot more regularly than like, you know, you, you do. Because you know when you go through your like teenage era of watching Netflix, watching The Walking Dead or playing Telltale's The Walking Dead and you just hibernate in your room and you like don't talk to anyone you don't leave the house you just sit there and watch your shows that is such like an iconic era uh but it it it, it it's not good okay it's not good like you just lock yourself in your room play the sims act as if you just have all the time in the world to just be lazy and i think everyone has to have that era because once you get out of it you're like oh my god whoo but you guys, I was watching Clueless the other day um, before bed. Like I wanted a cute little dinner time movie. So I was watching Clueless and then I realized like, you know how she like, is just so like rich girl and like low-key a brat. I realized like I want to portray million to billionaire body language. Cause you know how immediately when you're talking to someone that like knows their stuff, they're like rich or like a business person or whatever, you can just tell from their body language. Like, you know, I started looking up how to look rich just from body language. Also, I'm going in with the BYS translucent powder and also I bronze just like in a three and I don't contour. I bronze in a three because Kim Kardashian said, okay? Anyways, I go in with this sponge. I get to get a triangle puff for all the people coming at me. Anyways, you'll see how I like apply. Anyways, you guys, so I was watching Clueless, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw searching up like body language and it's so like, just like obvious, but then you know when you kind of like 
I wrote a list, like you just write down a list of all the things you want to do. So this is what I'm going to start doing. First of all, always having perfect posture. This is something I'm not that good with. Like once I remind myself I have like really good posture and then like after a while when I'm like tired or whatever, I go back to normal. I feel like I want to constantly just look like I have really good posture. Like once me and my sister were talking to this businesswoman and we were talking to her for literally like two hours and the whole time she stood up straight in the same like like didn't lean on her side didn't like slouch at all she was just fully standing there confident as ever looked immaculate and like i pick up on those things and like if i pick up on them then surely other people do second thing talking slower and being a really good listener you know not barging in to like talk on top of people this is my all-time favorite mascara so anyways, um, I get it all over my eyelids, by the way, you guys. I'm going to clean it up, okay? I'm going to clean it up. I just get this fluffy brush and, like, fluff dust off my powder. Me and my sister switch over between whether we're using, like, liquid blush or powder, but I usually go in with powder. Okay. I'm going to change the angle so it's more cinematic. Um, Yeah. So we're just dipping into our palette. This is the brush I'm using. She's our blush brush. <laughs> You're just gonna dab or like swipe. Like, you know, I, I feel like blush is just like, oh, I love blush. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I'm gonna title this. Like, rent with me makeup tutorial. Like, what? I love putting bronzer on my lids too. That's what you do. You stipple it in. We're using the same as what I used to like bronze slash contour my face. Sometimes you will mess up your lashes. That is to be expected when you save it as one of the last steps like I usually do. And then you try and buff it into like a wing kind of shape and it makes your face look more lifted. I learned this from TikTok. <sighs> Let me tell you the story about this highlighter. So I told her, can you please get Charlotte Tilbury blush? She goes, comes home with this i open it and i'm like hanan are you dumb it's a charlotte tilbury rose gold highlighter I, I don't know how much this is but it's just like a really expensive highlighter and like you know we're happy to have i just put highlighter on my brow bone swirl it around on the tip of my nose i used to put it on the bridge of my nose too but like i feel like that looks bad for me because i kind of have like a bump on my nose so i feel like it illuminates my bump more Let's line my lips. Here's the lip liner we're using, and it looks like this. It's just like a super dark brown. So I have it like lined. I just sort of like it and like kind of just blend it because I like it looking a bit blended. I'm just like. <laughs> I sprayed it really close to my eye. <laughs> My sister's coming home with a matcha for me later because instead of coffee now from Starbucks, I love getting matcha. Sunlight is what I look like. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>